fire prevention. Uh, if you saw my LED headlight video, you know I had a small electrical fire in the front. This is the original extinguisher I had in the bus, um, and it worked great. I'm glad I had it there for that situation, but seeing how quickly this size extinguisher runs out, um, I want to get something bigger. So I got this one, which is rated for marine and motor vehicle use. Comes with a nice metal bracket on it, so we're going to find a place to mount that inside the bus. And then for the engine fire, which is the bigger concern on buses, so that's why a lot of these die, is I got this blaze cut system. And this is a completely passive system. It goes above the engine. It takes care of any fire if it starts in there. And I'll go into some more detail on this. All right, so we want the fire extinguisher to be easily accessible. And we're a long ways off from finishing the interior on the bus and putting paneling here. So what I'm thinking is mounting this right here on this flat on the sheet metal. Um, that way it's easily accessible for me as the driver to try and grab it, or if you're coming in from the passenger door, it's easy to grab. This is the blaze cut system. It comes with this tube here, which is the blaze cut, and then some zip ties to fix at the top of the engine compartment. Um, I went ahead and got the two meter length version. Some people say you can go away with the one meter, but I figured it's safer to uh, go a little bit bigger than needed just in case. Um, so what this is, it's filled with this liquid or gas substance, and you can see there's a pressure gauge on the back right here. If a fire breaks out in the engine, this heats up, builds up the pressure here, and then this bursts letting out gas that then evacuates the engine compartment of all oxygens, which so then basically just suffocates the fire and saves your bus. So, so a lot of ways that engine fires can happen in these old buses is one, your fuel line rots out, deteriorates, so it's best to replace those regularly. Also these plastic fuel filters, they're great, but again, change them regularly because you don't want those to fail and then have uh, you know gas drip on the hot engine or on this guy and start a fire. But one of the main things is actually this part where the fuel comes into the carburetor, this um, nipple on there is just pressed in there, so a lot of times people will lock wire this onto the carburetor housing. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now, but that is something I'm gonna do moving forward and something you should definitely consider because that's- All right, so here's the blaze cut all mounted in. It's all zip tied at the top of the engine compartment, not to the engine at all, so that way you can still drop it out without having to worry about damaging the blaze cut. And I mount it this way where the front of it comes down so you can still see the gauge face on it, so if you ever want to come down and check to make sure your blaze cut's still good, just come look at that and see that the pressure gauge is still functioning. And